Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day, great week, great month, great year. We're almost to the end of 2019 and I, I'm so excited for 2020. And 2019 was, you know what, I'm gonna do a video on 2019. I'm gonna talk about some of what my goals were and how I achieved some of those goals. And we talk about um, basically setting intentions for the new year and doing some reflection because that's what I do every year. For New Year's, it's, it's all about reflection and setting intentions. For my birthday, it's all about reflection and setting intentions. So that's how I celebrate. That's how I, I use these things as markers. Not really something to celebrate me or what. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what this video is about today. Today, we're gonna get really, really intimate and we're gonna talk about menstrual cups. I had seen um, videos of it so many times on Instagram, on YouTube, on everywhere about menstrual cups. It seems interesting, but it looks kind of complicated. I don't know if I want to try. I stopped in the middle of training and my swim coach said to me, have you ever tried menstrual cups? Because one, and I'm funny like this, when it comes to my period, when I'm on my period, I don't want to do anything. I just want to, I don't want to work. I will work if I have to. But if I can't take a break, I take a break for three days and I don't do anything. And that's how I think um, the world should treat women. We should all get breaks during this period. Um, I don't want to do any heavy lifting. I don't want to do any heavy walking. I don't want to do anything that's strenuous on my body. My body is in a sacred space and I allow it to just do exactly what it needs to do. Um, without any additional stress and I think that's why a lot of women have so many um, symptoms you know menstrual symptoms because they have so many things doing and going on and there's a lot to process mentally as well so you don't get a break to really you know kind of be in it so um, when I told him the first time I was breaking from training, I was like, yo, um, my period is here, so I won't be doing training for the next few days and so on. And he's like, well, have you tried menstrual cups? And I said, well, I haven't. I've thought about it, but I haven't. But that's really not the only reason why I'm um, breaking. One, I, I don't wear tampons. And two, um, as I said before, I don't like to put stress on my body during my period. So I don't want to do anything, you know, any excessive exercise or whatever. I just want to rest. Come the next time around my period, he was like, you know what? I, I really think that you should give menstrual cups a try because my wife uses it, uses it. She gets on with life like nothing. It's like she's not affected by it at all. She can swim still. She can do sports because, well, she... She swims, she rides, and she runs. So she's not affected in that way when when her period is here. You know, she don't have to stop running, she don't have to stop cycling, and she don't have to stop swimming. Um, but for me, it's more than just being active. I just don't want to do anything. I just want to sit still. So anyway, um, he's like, you know, you should talk to her. She can give you more information about it and whatever. So I did. And she told me that a health food store here solely. But she told me that their markup was ridiculous. So, you know, it would she wouldn't recommend that I buy it from them. She said she was going to get some and, you know, I should just wait and she, I can purchase it from her. I said, okay, cool. Um, and that was the, the Diva Cup. And yeah, I paid six thousand dollars for it. I got the the model one. It's model one. This is the the smaller size. I think they have two sizes in Diva cups. The model two would be the bigger size, and that that's recommended for women who have had children. For those women and women who have a white sex vagina. <laughs> They recommend that how you insert it is that I'm gonna tell you what I did. I did what I thought was easier for me. I press it down here like this, 
create to create a small part here for insertion and then I insert it I insert it towards my um, my bum that's what the instruction says insert it towards your bum and then you release it and it opens like that and you try and spin it around from the back I think you would leave like maybe this much out yeah leave this much out and so you just try to spin it around hold the bottom here and spin it around until it opens the thing about this is one i didn't find it very comfortable but the way that i inserted it and i got this tip from one of the girls who was um at the sister wombs retreat about how you insert it when you when you when you put it like this I, instead of inserting it this way towards the bottom, turn it this way so that when it opens, when it opens, it opens um, not towards the cervix. Because when you do it on this side and it blam hits your cervix, it hot and uh, <laughs> that's painful. It's painful and I think that's why I, I was getting cramps from using this. The first time I inserted it, I did have a little bit of a leak. So the second time I tried again and I can't explain what I did different or what I did wrong exactly. But I know that um, the second time I inserted it, it was fine. I didn't get any leaks. And surprisingly, I didn't, I didn't feel... I didn't even get up to half ounce. In a day, I may do a little bit over quarter ounce. That's it. I don't, I don't know there's a, ever a day that I have half ounce of um, period, which was surprising to me. When I took it out, I was like, that's it? Where's the rest of it? That's all like surprising. And I'm just like, so how come we make such a mess with pads. I just don't understand. With you would think that you're losing like two cups of blood. The way how you know pads get really soaked. So it just it puzzled me. By the third day, the third or fourth day of putting it in, because you you're gonna put it in like maybe two at least two three times per day. So after two. Two, two, three days of that, no, maybe day, day three, day four of doing this towards my cervix, I was cramped up. I was like, yo, I'm over it. I took it out because it was painful. I was cramping like crazy. So, and I think this, this part is really hard. So to have that hitting, but it's very, once it goes inside and it hits, the walls it's like it's not gonna move once it's once the suction is there and there's no leak it's good so I decided I was gonna try a different cup and this cup was recommended by also you see it comes in this really really cute bag I like it so they recommend that you when you get the cup and I'm gonna do this every time you sterilize it so you wash it in some um, you boil it in hot water um, every time you use I recommend every time you use make sure your hands are clean I mean you know do I have to tell you those things I don't think so I decided to try a different cup and I decided to try because I saw one of the girls again from the sister homes retreat with one of these and I was like that's so cute comes in this little case and it's so freaking cute and this brand is Intimina and this is the lily cup compact they have different lily cups on the Intimina so you just can choose the one that you like I think they have about five to five or six different types and I was like you know I'm gonna check that out because it looks soft I didn't get to feel it but it looks soft and um, I wanted, I just wanted to try something different from the Diva Cup. So this Intimina Cup is the Lily Compact, the Lily Cup Compact, and it is a collapsible 
cup so in the case it's like this you take it out and you pull it like this right so to put it back in the case you collapse it just push it in and put it in the case and go does it feel softer it does it feels a little bit softer but it's still silicone I don't know if it's different types of silicone I'm not sure but it still feels it feels a little smooth a little velvety um, kind of feel in the material which is different from this one this one just feels like silicone which I'm used to feeling um, sound weird I mean silicone that I use I use silicone to make products I use silicone to do a lot of different things not um, not that so this one I inserted try to do it the right way this time where I did um, try to get us the section at the, to at the top as small as possible and I inserted it this way in towards my bum and then I would release it but and then it, it wouldn't open immediately but just by turning it you can stick your finger in there and sort of move your finger around here until it releases and it opens and then I would just tuck it down and pull it tuck on it a little bit until it feels snug and then I know that it's sealed um, it's a little bit smaller than the diva cup um, model one uh, I don't know if that adds to the fact that it's a little bit more comfortable, but it's not all that much smaller. It definitely, I definitely have to change this more often because um, I think what would fit in a Diva Cup at quarter ounce would probably come up to somewhere about here. So I do have to take it out and empty it more often, but it was a more comfortable experience. Like I didn't remember that there was something inside of there a lot of the times. I actually forgot that's how comfortable I was with this one. Um, but I wouldn't rule out the Diva Cup, I, especially if I'm having heavy days. And now that I'm using a different process to insert, I'll try it again and see if if I get any discomfort from it again. If I feel cramped up using it, I know that it's just a, it's just a cup and not me. But you guys, honestly, it's it's a it's trial and error, I think. And so you have to try different cups until you see the one that you you know the one that you want. Online on Amazon, the Diva Cup is like $25. The Lily Cup is $26. No, what am I saying? The Lily Cup is $15. $15. The other, there's a other cup that I got my friend Dana. She got that one. And it's this. It, that's the cup that she got. And I got the Lily Cup Compact. So hers was 20 is $26. Mine was $15. It looks like there's a sale on guys. It's now $11. It's a sale. So yeah, I'm you just have to try. I think everybody's body is different. So one cup won't suit everybody. So you'll have to try and try and try until you find um, the cup that you're comfortable with. But I will say this, this is a game changer for me. If I don't have to wear pads ever again, I'm happy, you know? Um, and if I, if, I, if I can comfortably insert something, I just don't like, I don't like strange objects inside my body. Like it's just weird to me and so that's one thing I didn't like with tampons plus tampons kind of they clog you up it's not like you know it's catching 
like the cup is catching you in the um the period it's clogging it so i hated the idea of tampons always did so this to me is a game changer um in that i don't have to worry so much about um i don't have to worry so much about leaking and you know i'm changing pads every minute i'm just comfortable for the time if i have to leave home during the time of a period if i want to go swimming i can't go swimming if i want to run i can run comfortably i recommend it i highly recommend it to women throw the pads away they say that the pads are full of toxic chemicals and all of that so you know that's the cause of a lot of menstrual pain and you know heavy menstrual bleeding so give it a try i've heard women who have tried it and say that their cycle has changed drastically so i would give it a try it's 15 dollars like it's 15 dollars or 25 dollars and you'll have this for a long time as opposed to buying pads every month how much you pay for pads and how, how often do we buy pads like this is a one-time investment you know what I mean so guys I would recommend that you you try one of these and try different ones until you find the one that's right for you do your research and yeah it's trial and error and I actually enjoy the process of figuring it out and oh you know trying different things and seeing what's comfortable and when I got to a point where I felt comfortable I was like yeah Okay, all right, I can do this. I can freaking do this. So that's it, guys. If there are any other brand of menstrual cups that you have used and you like and you would recommend, please let us know. Please share any tips that you have on using menstrual cups. We're all still learning about this. There, there's always a learning process or a learning curve to something. And I think this is better than what we've been doing. Also, I must mention something that um, one of the girls did mention at the retreat again reusable sanitary napkins she sewed them herself I was just completely amazed by that and so it's just like how when babies use nappies so instead of buying pampers they use nappies and you wash the nappies you know and so you get them to reuse is the same thing with the sanitary napkins you just wash them after you've used them and i thought that was amazing i told her i wanted to buy one from her because one i can't i'm not gonna be able to sew that myself so i would definitely need to buy it but i thought that was so inventive and just a great idea that i would i definitely want to try that so that's another thing another option um yeah so we're trying to find healthier options for our rooms you know, our, our rooms have been damaged by so many things over the years. There are so many things us as women have been using wrong and doing wrong and it has affected us in so many ways that we don't even realize that it's some of our practices that are actually affecting us and changing the way our bodies work or how it's supposed to work, you know. So here's to trying new healthier options. For taking care of ourselves and our wounds all right guys that is it take care of yourself and we link up in our next video all right bye guys